So for the final part, let's go over to Zapier and create the Zap that connects everything together. So go to Zapier and it's going to, go to make a Zap. We are going to use Airtable as the trigger. And it's going to be a new record in view. Continue, connect your Airtable account, select your base, select your table and select your view. We're going to choose proposal. So now that any time a record hits proposal stage, um, this will trigger this first stage of the zap. We're going to test it and continue and hopefully we can get some data from the parabola record. If you want to go and dive in and check, just go through to the find data. We've got one record in here, drop it down we can see that we're getting the parabola data through that. So, go down. For the next part, the action is going to be in the slides. The action is going to be create presentation from templates. And this creates a presentation based on the existing one. You can replace any placeholder variables found in your template presentation. So that. Press continue. Connect your Google Slides account. Okay, so for the first part, you're going to want to give your presentation a name. So we're going to call it the consulting proposal. Or, and then we're going to use the company name from our previous step from Airtable, from Parabola. Just shared yes. The template presentation is going to be our Makepad consulting proposal. This tells Zapier where to look and the right presentations for the data. So now we can see, once you connect that, that Zapier has gone to Google Slides and has actually looked through the presentation and found where you can put the variables. And we found that we've got company name, company objective, and logo. So go back through, we've got a company name, we've got our logo, and then we've got the company objective in here as well. So that's working. And all we have to do now is map across your fields. So we're going to put Parabola company name, then we're going to put the company logo. And with, the good thing with Airtable it actually gives you a few different variations of the image, so you can kind of choose the size. Um, we are going to choose the company logo small URL, I think. Let me just double check that. Yep. And then the company objective, we're going to scroll down, it should be at the end, the objective there. Press continue. Okay, now we've got the data through. If we test continue, what it's going to do is it's going to take that data from our table and it's going to put it into uh, Google Slides, create a new presentation, and save that as the make by consulting. Proposal for Parabola, hopefully, in this process. Let's test continue. I'll take a couple of seconds. Okay, if you're seeing your zap is ready, transfer has worked. Way to check, go back into Google Slides. Go back to your homepage, we should see a new presentation been generated. Here we go. Makepad consulting proposal. Open this up, wait for it to load. And now we see that we have the consulting proposal for Parabola. You can see that we have this image here in the very placeholder. Um, and if you scroll down, you can see that we have project objective mapped in, on this slide as well. So, good news. What you can do is obviously a very simple way to demonstrate how you can get the data across, but you can kind of go through the entire presentation. And based on your previous conversations throughout your sales funnel, then you can actually map in the map plots some data throughout your presentation. Hope this is a tutorial that is useful and saves a bunch of time. If you have any questions on how to set up or execute it, make sure you reach out inside the Makepad Slack at Tom Osmond or on Twitter at Tom Osmond as well. Enjoy, and I hope it saves you some time. Bye.